Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Remember Our Trip. But before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. And if you've done that, well then, welcome to Kyoto, which is the site of a recent trip we all went on. And the problem is, here we are weeks later, and nobody can remember for sure where was that hotel that we stayed at? What day did we go to that park? Etc, etc. And what we're going to be doing over the course of this game is collaboratively trying to remember with the most accuracy possible all the details of our trip. And I'm going to show you how it works today in a two-player run-through. I'm the green player, Jen is the blue player. And there's a little bit of setup we have to do. First of all, we have to decide whether we had a trip in Kyoto or Singapore, and it, because that gives you a slightly different city layout. We've just, we're just we going with Kyoto today, which I would say is the slightly more challenging one. Also, I've gone on ahead and added these that tighten the board up. Just makes everything a little bit more constricted, which creates a little bit more tension. But for a more easygoing game, you'd probably want to play the Singapore without this extra tightener. But we are just going for maximum squeezage today. Last thing we have to do is find out what's that one thing everybody's trying to remember the most, which is to say, what's our secret objective card? There's a whole bunch of them. Let's go on ahead and pick one randomly. The green ones, if I recall correctly, are like kind of the intro ones. The blue ones are uh, a little bit more complex, a little bit more advanced. I'm just now going to close my eyes and choose this one. Okay. Ah, so this is one of the more advanced ones. This is the Singapore side, which we're not playing today. We're playing the Kyoto side. So it is all about shops, shops, shopping. That's what we care about. And I'll show how that goes as we start playing the game. So now, we are going to play this game through 12 rounds. And this little deck of cards is the timer for that. Let me shuffle it one more time. And at the beginning of every round, we reveal a card. Okay. And what this card says is, uh, in each one of these little memory slots, put two tokens. Hence the number two. Sometimes you'll put in three, etc. And also, since we're playing a two-player game, we ignore this slot. This is only for a three- or four-player game. So, let's go on ahead and get some memory tokens. I'm just drawing them randomly, two into each little depot. Alright, so there's a tourist attraction and a shop. Shops are pretty hot in this game. And we've got a restaurant and a tourist spot. And a bop bop a hotel, and a park. A park with a nice little statue. Okay, so that's that, and now the game can begin. I am the first player, and what am I going to do? I'm going to pick one of these groupings of memory chips, and I am going to add them to my personal recollection of our trip. And I'm trying to do this in such a way that I can make various and sundry patterns. If I can get um, Hotel, the blue chips, in this shape or this shape for Kyoto, and it's a little bit different. Oh no, see, the hotels are the same. Uh, it's the uh, landmarks that are different shapes. So if I can get uh, in that shape or that shape, I can score four and maybe more points for remembering a hotel. Uh, it's little one by twos. The parks are the quickest, easiest things to uh, remember, which is why they're only worth two points a pop. Although they can be worth bonus points as well. And also, to successfully remember a park, it has to be a one by two of the same thing. Two park benches, two fountains, or two statues. The landmarks, they need to be in these shapes. The shops and the restaurants, they can be in any shape they we want them to be, but they have to be bigger and bigger and bigger. If we can remember a, uh, a size 3 shop or restaurant, it's not worth any base points. Whereas if we can get a size 6, it's worth 5 points plus bonuses. Alrighty, so... I am going to pick one of these. And you know, I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab the shop. Because, I should have mentioned what this is. Basically, this is saying, whoever has the biggest confirmed um, collection of shops on their personal remembrance board at the end of the game gets six points. Second biggest gets three. So, if I can monopolize those shop tokens, that might work out well for me. So now, I've got the tokens. I've got to put them somewhere on my board. And I can't put them here because that's been covered up. But, I also have to be restricted by this card. Because this card shows me that, hey, I put two chips in each space, but I also have this shape. I must lay these chips down in a 1 by 4 pattern that matches on my board. Which is to say, I could put them here and here, like this, because that would be two steps of this size 4 thing. I could put them here and here. I could put them here and here, as an example. Because again, it has to be a 1 by 4 and there are these two things are combined, uh, taking up these four spaces. I can't go 
like this because I can't rotate this card. So they have to be like that. And right off the bat, what am I going to do with them? I think, well, if you look a bit more closely at my board, you will notice there are some pre-colored areas. One for shops, one for restaurants, one for hotels, and one for parks. These are places we actually took pictures. We have photographic evidence that there was a, um, a shop here and a park here, etc., etc. So it's probably in my best interest to say, yeah, I remember that shop. So I'm going to go ahead and put my shop tile right there, because that's another way we can score points. Again, if we look at this thing, it reminds us at the end of the game, if we have gotten tokens into all four of those photo spots we, that match color, we'll get six points. If we only do three, uh, we'll get two. If we don't match any of them, we actually lose points. So that's another thing we're concerning ourselves with. So I'll go ahead and take that. And now this could either go here, here, or here, because, or, or it could go in the water. But that would be bad because if I say I remember that um, you know that tourist that hotspot being in the water, everybody say yeah that's a bad memory, and I'll have to because you can't put stuff in water. I'll have to put this in my misremembered tokens pile, which I don't want to do because that could potentially lose me points at the end of the game. But I will go on ahead and put it over here, right by uh, the river. And because this is going to give me more space to expand shops in this area, which I definitely want to do. All right, so that's what I did. And Jen is going to either take, take the, the park and the hotel or the restaurant and the, uh, the... She'll go on ahead. Hmm, I think she'll take the park and the hotel because look at this. Again, she has to do the one by four. She'll put this park up here. And now she wants to put another statue here or here so that she can remember this little park and score points. Because remember, parks are one by twos and they have to be matching symbols. And now this could go here, here, here. Let's put it over there. It's not on the hotel spot, but it's right next to the hotel spot, which means in the future, Jen might want to put more blue chips down here. Because remember, a hotel has to be three big. You know, either I mean, on a straight line or a curve like this. So this could be the beginning of a hotel that she might be remembering down the line. So I think that makes sense for her. And now, um, the last ones, nobody took them. In a two-player game, the remainders, they are out of the game. Bye-bye. Okay, now, there would be a potentially a little bit more we could do on a given turn because after we've actually put our tokens down, we can confirm our memories if we show that we have made any of the patterns that we're trying to create. But as it is, with only two tokens, nobody has made any of these patterns yet. So the round is over. We go on to the next round. Jen is the first player. We draw another card, and it is a threesy by threesy. Okay, so we put three tiles out in each of these spots from the Remember Our Trip sack. One, two, three. Ooh. Two, um, you know, big attractions and a hotel. Bip -bip -bip -bip. A park, which is a, with a fountain, and another attraction and another hotel. So far, no shops. We want them shops, folks. And boom, I think that might be what Jen wants. A shop, a restaurant, and... Ah, oh, but it's a park bench. If she puts this park bench next to her statue, that's going to be tough because she has to ultimately get a statue down here. So those do not match. But still, I mean, you could get multiple parks over the course of this game. So Jen is first. Jen is going to take any one of these bundles of three, and then she's going to have to put them on her board in this pattern, you know, where um, they are in basically this square. You know, it'll be something like boom, boom, boom as an example, or it could be boom, 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 or it could be boom, 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 or it could be boom, boom, boom. But if she did that, oh, she'd be remembering the park in the water, which is no good. She could even, if she wanted to, go like this, boom, 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 and remember it being off the board. But again, that's a bad memory, which could potentially lose you points. So what is Jen going to take, and where is she going to put it? I think she wants to keep on expanding this hotel. If she could have, she would have liked to expand this statue-based park, but she didn't get those. Instead, there's a bench or a... A fountain. So, I think, well, if she's going to go for a hotel, she's going to take this group or this group. She'll go ahead and take this because uh, multiple chips of the same type can be handy for trying to make these more complex patterns. So, let's say Jen's going to do this. Now, she definitely wants to put this hotel piece here, obviously, which means the other two pieces have to go like this, like this, like this. Those would be the three legal. Otherwise, she'd end up starting to have some bad memories if they were off the board. So I think, does she want to put them over here? That kind of crunches the potential future expansion of a restaurant, which obviously she wants to put restaurants down there because we have a picture of a restaurant. So probably not over there. 
If she goes like this, she's maybe uh, crunching her expansion for shops. But I think she'll go for this. So, so there we go. So she has made this layout pattern and she has almost got an entire hotel remember because remember, she's trying to get this shape or say that shape to completely remember and that's how we score points. Okay, so she's left me this and this. I, hey, I'll just keep on expanding uh, my shops because of the bonus points for having the biggest contiguous group of shops. So how am I going to do this? Uh, let's see. If I were to go like that, then I could say go like that, and I could go like that. So that's all right. That's not great. Obviously, I'd rather this red be way over here. I'm worried this red might start to encroach into my purple because I'm trying to remember um, you know, cool attractions. And the cool attractions, they have the big Tetris shapes. I need a T or, you know, uh, or the square or the L. And so right off the bat, I'm really limiting my chance of doing the L if I put that Red right there. But with this requirement, I don't have much of a choice. I mean, I could put this over here, I suppose, and then I could go like this. But then again, I'm just putting stuff in the drink. But I am saving my room for later. But I'm just going to go like that. Hopefully, this won't blow up in my face. All right, and then these are gone. Round two is over, and so far, nobody has made a complete hotel, a complete park, a complete uh, attraction, or a, a big enough set of shops or restaurants to actually... Um, confirm the memories. So, let's move on to round three. Ooh, we've got a place diagonally this time. It has to be diagonally left to right. Can't go diagonally the other way, etc., etc. Three tokens are out again. One, two, three, one. I forgot. I am the first player. Two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Ooh, big shop bunch right there. Oh, I think I like that. I am totally, totally going to dominate this shop recollection. If I take and and it's a park bench too which could go right next to my oh I like uh, this. I like it very much. Let's take this group right here and now I have to lay it down in a diagonal from upper left to lower right. I think this is kind of a no ski brain ski. Let's go um, one two three. There we go. And now I'm still leaving myself space to put more oranges in here now, it's a shame. If, if they were like this, I could say, boom, hey, look, everybody, I remember a size four shop. And a size four shop gets me at least one point, although potentially bonus points as well. But as it is, because I've laid it out like this, and I didn't have to go like that, I could. I say, I, I want this next to that. Um, but again, I mean, but then I'm still, I mean, here's another thing I could do. If I want to, I could override this. I could say, oh, no, it, it wasn't a, a tourist attraction. It was another shop. And then... I'm potentially losing points again. So I could go like that, and I'm already throwing a chip away. Now, the way this works, if ever you have a misremembered tile that goes up here, it's no big deal. The problem is, if at the end of the game, you have the most of these. If you have the most misremembered tiles, you will lose one point for every one of them. But man, throwing that away, look at this. I've just got, I could have like a super shopping complex. Because in a perfect world, I'd like to keep building until it's a size six, because that's a base of five points. But I would be potentially losing at least one point there. But Jen's probably going to misremember some stuff too. Because this game, especially with this thing, just gets tight, tight, tight. <sighs> but no, I'm not going to do it yet. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try not to misremember. I'm going to stick by... No, I swear there was a Ferris wheel right there. Or a tower. Or some big, I don't know, pagoda or, or, some, or something. Alrighty. It'd be kind of nice if the rules actually said what these represent. I'm sure they do represent some real... Um, you know, landmarks in Kyoto, but whatever. All right, so I did that, and I still can't say that I... No, I can. I can now say that I remember this park. It had a whole bunch of benches. It was great seating, and I am going to lock that in now, which means I take this that could represent a park for benches, fountains, or statues. In this case, it's a bench park, and I have to emulate it up here on the communal board, and I flip these over to indicate that this is locked in place. This is a confirmed memory of this park, and I get two points for every park, one, two, plus I get additional points for um, every space of this park that matches the communal memory board. And because I'm the first person to um, confirm anything in C1 and D1, these two spaces, that means I get to define what's in them on the communal space. Everybody has to agree. Yeah, there was a little park right there. And um, I got two points for that. And since these two match these two, I just got two more points. 
I got four points. Woohoo! I'm on the map. And um, that is interesting. Now I can see Jen's planning on making a park. She could still, if she can put parks in these spaces too, that match the parks that we have now as a group. You know, for, this is me confirming for myself. This is how I remember stuff. I've confirmed this. And because this was open space, the whole group has to agree. Yep, there was a park there. We all agree it was there. And that can create problems. Because later on, Jen might have had this purple extend into this area. And that would be conflicting with what we remember as a group. And that's kind of a big part of the game. But anyway, so that was that. I'm still trying to build, a, you know, get a couple more park spaces in here. Get some more purple going there, etc., etc. Although... Although, man, I'm, I'm running out of opportunities to get this L in here, but I could still pull it off. And that was it for me. Jen, what does she want? Oh, she could get some more purples and start making a big purple landscape. Hmm. She, or she could, uh, this is a park bench. She wants a park statue, but she could start working on the restaurants as well. And she could get her hotel done. Let's do it. Let's finish this hotel. Now remember, these three tokens, they've got to go in a diagonal line like this, however she wants. So, oh, perfect. She'll put this hotel here. And then we'll go diagonally down this way. We won't put anything in the water, but she'll say she remembers, yeah, I remember this restaurant over here. And so this park could go there, or this park could go here. Or it could go in the drink, in which case she immediately says, oh, that's wrong, and she, and she gives up. Right, so if she does that, that's going to crunch her ability to make um, restaurants expand. I think she'll put it up here. Maybe she'll have a whole bunch of parks up in this area. Although, she needs to think about how does she want this purple to expand, knowing that she wants to make it a T and, or an L, because you know these two things can't combine into this. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. She'll go like that. No, she won't. She'll put this way down here. Right. Oh, wait. oh hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah. Bing. B uh, blank space. Bing, bing. Okay. And Jen confirms... I totally remember. This was totally a hotel we stayed at. It was right on the water. It was beautiful. And I get four points for that. Boom. Just like that. And because Jen is the first to fill these spaces into the communal memory, she gets one, two, three more spaces. Or points. One, two, three. So Jen just scored seven points to my four. And now I definitely want to fill these. I want to be able to confirm. Yes, I remember there being a hotel too. So that I can match what she has ratified. Okay. So that was that. These tokens are Gonsville out of the game. And we go on to the next round. And we've got three in a little cross pattern. All right, let me just grab a bunch. Arr. One, two, three. It's very hot in here. My hands are kind of sticky. Three, one. Oh, look at all those hotel chips. Two, three. Okay, here we go. If you do have to boot. There, 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 there. All right, and Jen gets first dibsy dibs. Finally, a statue. Yes, yeah, she will take this. Although, she's. I mean, actually, I mean, there's nothing stopping her from doing another hotel. If she say does this, she could go like this and this. Although that's un. Yeah, I mean, because she could be ultimately trying to complete another hotel right here. That's not bad. And in the meantime, she will have done that park. I think that's totally what she wants to do because this is her first chance. Although, again, she could go a different way. She could go like this and then this and this. Or like this and this, let's say, and try to start building up a yellow or, you know, the, the bend type instead. In fact, yeah, let's go like that. Let's go like that. Let's go like that. Okay. Um, although, actually, here's the deal. If she does this and ultimately fills either those spaces, she's just putting a lot of hotel right here, that's going to help me because I don't know how I'm going to expand my hotels out of this base spot anymore. And I don't necessarily want to make it easy, or Jen doesn't want to make it easy for me to get matching hotels all throughout here. So I think it does make more sense for her to go like this and put these hotels far away. Because if she can finish this and lock another hotel in like this, it might be tougher for me to fill this in and also get hotels in exactly the same layout. Where if you know if she tried to say end up creating this as a remembrance, which she could be aiming towards, then it'd be easier for me to try to get more, more, more hotels that match what she is locked in. So she's gonna spread them out a little bit more. Okay, and she says, "Hey, I remember this park. That's two points for me. And because I'm the first to remember it in that space, bippity bop. That's two more points. Boom, boom. All right." So Jen's happy about that. She's on her way to another hotel. And what am I going to take? Alrighty. More shops. 
and I could start another park. And hey, I could start working on restaurants as well. I can. I really want to start getting hotels up here to match what Jen has already done. Um, but no, I, I just want to keep on pushing that park agenda. Alrighty, so, but if I do this, how am I going to put this in here in a smart way? Well, with this cross, I could go like this and like this. And you can imagine I might ultimately be able to get another restaurant over here. Um, because remember, you know, I need a contiguous big group of restaurants to get more and more points. So I could go like that. Go like um, that. But then I'm putting things over here, which is going to mess up. No. So I think I definitely want to go like this. Excuse me there. Which means these other two pieces have to go... Well, if I don't want to misremember anything, yeah, I do want to put this here so I can start working on this. And now this either has to go into this spot or this spot. If I put it up here, then I'm saying I don't remember where that restaurant is. That's no good. So I'm going to put it down here. And I have literally made an orphan um, park. I, say, I, I swear there was a fountain down there by the... And oh, by the way, I've also completely orphaned this off too. Neither of these are ever going to be anything now. Because um, you know, uh, 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 an attraction has to be four spaces big. A park has to be two spaces big. There's no space. Because remember, I tightened things up and made it a little bit tougher for myself. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But anyway. But on the flip side though, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I could uh, you know, cash in now with a five and get three points. Plus, I'd be the first to fill all these spaces in. That would give me five more points. Or... I could wait and try to squeeze one more shop in here because that would be worth two more points. I'd go from three points to five points. <sighs> but I do not like that. Um, because, I mean, because what am I going to put here? Um, well, I mean, maybe say if I get a diagonal, I could say something over here and then things way up there. If I get a diagonal like that, that's a possibility. Or I could just lock it in now. Do I push my luck and hope to get an even bigger park later with... Because say a park comes out, but it's something where I have to do another horizontal line or a vertical line, I might not be able, and I'd have to start misremembering things to fill that last space in. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just gonna lock this in now. I am going to confirm that there was a size 5 shop here. Boom, boom, boom. And I am the early odds-on favorite to get the biggest contiguous group of shops. Um, and I mean, although by going this early, uh, you know, I'm maybe, uh, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll, I can still make another shop here or what have you. Uh, but I can't fill that space in the shops because it's all surrounded. But anyway, so that was a size five, which gets me three points. Uh, one, two, three. And now let's confirm in the communal board, do those shops line up? Does anybody remember something else in those spaces? I don't think so. I'm the first to put a shop there, and there, and there, and there, and there. It all lined up perfectly. So that was one, two, three, four, five more points for me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. There we go. Lovely. Okay. And now Jen has a problem because you know this space where I just confirmed there's a shop, she was trying to remember um, attractions in that spot. So if she tries to follow through with that, there that's a bonus point she'll never be able to get. And she won't even be able... I mean, she was thinking, hey, maybe I'd ultimately go like this, right? If she gets some more purples in there. But if you look, she can't do it because I've already confirmed. So she won't be able to get bonus points. Ouch. Ouch. Well, uh, that was a big move for me. And these go away. And uh, we go back over to me, on to, I think this is the fourth round or the fifth round, I guess. And let's see, it's another three in that cross pattern. By the way, you know how many cards are coming. This is a breakdown of all the cards that are in the deck. And um, so, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. If you're just trying to guess, well, I have a chance of actually making this shape that I think I'm going to make, um, you know, because what's still coming, what diagonal space sizes, stuff like that. All right. So anyway, here we go. I am first up. And what do I want? Well, now I don't care so much about shops, although I could still keep, if I could keep shop tiles away from Jen completely, then I could get the six points and she wouldn't get the three points. That'd be tougher to pull off in a higher player count game, but in a two player game... If, if I can just keep those shops away from her, 
that's a pretty big deal. So maybe I just want to go ahead and grab this. This is an opportunity to keep on pushing this, um, what do you call it, a restaurant as well and start working on some purple. Oh, really, I'd rather the restaurant be over here. That's in the wrong place. Or do I start working on um, hotels and, hey, maybe try to get some parks up there to match what Jen has already recollected? Uh, if I do that, where would this purple go? Well, this purple's kind of dead to me anyway. It can't expand. It can't grow. I might actually try to change my recollection and put uh, red down there. I could even do that. Wow. Um, at some point down the line to make this a bigger group of restaurants. Or I could make it a park. If Oh, man. If this were a fountain park, I might purposely say, no, 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 I was wrong about that to put this down here so I could get a little size two park in there and lock it in before anything else happens. But unfortunately, it's the wrong kind of park. So, oh, man. Decisions. Decisions. Or, hey, this is a great way to really push and a restaurant agenda, too. Either, you know, over here or expanding the one I'm already working on. So am I just going to try and keep this shop away from Jen? That's the big question. Sure, let's do it. Let's just go with it. Okay, so now either I want this to be over here to match the picture we've got. Even if I never actually confirm this, to score points off it. Uh, remember, the more of these colored things I, I line up in the correct slots, the more points I get for matching the actual pictures we took. So either I do that or do I say put it over here and continue. I mean, I can put it here. And then, hey, I've got a restaurant. It's a zero-point restaurant plus bonuses. But if I put that there, where are these going to go? Remembering that I have to match this, I don't want to put them in the drink. I could put one here, and then the other one would have to go in the drink. Or, no, no, no. I could say, I could. well, I could go like this, and then nothing goes in the drink. But now, I don't have a blue chip on the blue space. So that's going to hurt me later on. Ugh. Oh, I don't like this at all. Let's see. If I do this... Now, I could still be say I'm misremembering and later on replace this with a blue. Or I might think it's worth more to actually try to say, Hey, I remember this purple up here. And say to heck with, you know... Although the problem is, if I were to try to do that, Jen's already locked this area in as blue, so I won't be able to get any bonus points because this won't fit on the main board. Ah! Oh, this game... This is a really wicked, puzzly game. What the heck? Maybe I let her have it, and I just I just work on restaurants. Or, I, I mean, I got, I got to, mister, I got to get my hotel going to match all this, and I want to get a blue there. Maybe I just really push hard on the restaurant agenda, and I, I go like this. Look at that. That's a size 4 restaurant. But then that, well, this can't go here, because that's already been confirmed. This could go here which I'd want to override later with a blue, or it could go there, in which case I'm going to forget about it right off the bat. But now I'm working on... And oh my gosh, this could still be a legal restaurant because look how it snakes through here. Oh man, and if I could pull that off, I could maybe mess with Jen's um, hotel she's trying to remember over there. Okay, I'm going to do it. And I... What the heck? I will put this here knowing full well that I'll probably override it with a blue later on. Probably. No reason to lose points off it right away, but who knows? Maybe it'll be best for me just to go on ahead and try and do that shape or something. We'll see how it goes. All right, so that's it. And Jen says, finally, I get a shop. Finally. But one chip is not going to do it for her. She needs at least three chips to be able to get a, a confirmed block. So I could still try to keep them away from her in the future. And in the meantime, where is she going to put this? Well, she'd like to get this over here, obviously. But then that's really going to hamstring her. Um, let's see. Oh, and what else? She, I, I know I know what she wants to do. She, okay, oh. <sighs> right. So, she would like to get this purple up here with these things somehow. I mean, she'd go like that, and then another purple could be, could be that. That would be nice. So, that'd be that and that and that, and then a restaurant over here, which does no good at all. Or, she could say to heck with all that. And say, hey, let's start expanding this restaurant. And let's start do some shops up here. And let's say we're trying to get a purple over there. That, she doesn't have to misremember anything. She can still try to get an orange over here later. She could be trying to go for the L up here now. Or, oh, but that, or, or no, like say like this. And then a restaurant and shops like that. Yeah, okay, let's say Jen's going um, to try and um, you know, work on the eastern bank of the river to remember this. Yeah, let's go for that. Because, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, she needs this bench, though. 
So, right. So this restaurant could go like this. And this could be this. And then this could be like that. Okay. She, that's, that's her long-term plan. Who knows if she'll pull it off. All righty. Is anybody confirming anything? I don't think so. I could confirm this. Since I just added to this this turn, I have the option to confirm it. And since it's a four, that gives me a base of one point plus matching. And if I don't confirm it now, I can only confirm it later if I extend it. So do I push my luck thinking I'll be able to get more restaurants in here later? I mean, I know I can. I, can, I could push it all the way up here. So that it's ultimately, man, that would be huge. But it's such a big gamble. But I'm, gonna, I'm a gambler. I'm going to do it. All right, so we slide over here. We've got a new card. Two, uh, some doubles instead of triples for a change. And Jen gets first dibs. All righty. Bippity bop, flippity flop, and skippity stop. Okay. And hey, there's her, Jen's second shot at Parks. I think she's going to take this. And how is she going to do this? <sighs> right. So she wants this red. Oh, and it has to be. Oh, it has to. Oh, wow. It has to be in a diagonal like that. Oh, my gosh. How is that going to work? You know, I mean, that, that park's nowhere near this. I mean, it's a restaurant over there. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's fine. It matches the restaurants I've done. Oh, oh man, it has to be like that. No rotation. And, you know, no parks came out to match her park bench, unfortunately. She can see that I want this. I will happily override this, throw this away so I can get this here, so I can get a park in that space. And, you know, at this point, it's only losing one point to misremember that. So she knows if she doesn't take this, I will. I mean, I'd just be crazy not to. Although, these are both opportunities for me to expand my restaurant even farther. So even if she takes this, she knows I'll be happy to get either of these and just keep pushing this restaurant agenda. Um, so yeah, I don't think that... Right, so she should really focus on herself. She needs these shops. She could go like this. And that's legit. But, I mean, that just pretty much scuppered her chance at remembering a purple thing here. But now she could get a little size four shop here. She's got a restaurant she could push down here. She can still do that. I think that's what she's going to do. And she has to decide, is she going to confirm this? This would be worth zero points, because it's only three, plus three points for matching, because we'll confirm there's restaurants over there. Or, again, does she keep building? Does she keep pushing her luck, trying to make this a bigger restaurant, bigger and bigger? Because, I mean, instead of uh, zero base points, she could get more reds in all of these. And it could go up to be a three or a five base point if she pushes her luck. She's going to push her luck. And, um, right, so she leaves these for me. And as predicted, I am going to take this. Uh, all right, and they have to go diagonally like this. I'm going to say, yes, I remember. The park was here. I was crazy. What was I thinking? It was a fountain, not a gigantic fountain. And now this has to be diagonal, so it's got to go like this. Let's just go on ahead. Um, one, two, three, four, and put it up there. Which, by the way, coincidentally, is the exact same place. We both remember something purple here. Um, so that's interesting. That could be interesting. Because if I actually lock in something purple, Jen might decide to override some of her other stuff to lock in a purple herself, depending on how it goes. Anyway, so that was an interesting round. All right, and um, am I going to lock in? No, I'm going to keep on building. Or no, no, I'm sorry, I am. I'm going to lock in this park while I can. Boom. So we are saying there is a park right here. And I get one, two, three, four points. Nice. Two, three, four. Look at that. Our recollection of the city of our trip is coming into focus. Okay, next round. All right, twosies in a straight line. I get first dibs. All right, another shop, another hotel, and a restaurant, and a, a big attraction, and a restaurant, and a hotel. And I am first. I want to keep pushing this restaurant. Hey, you know, this is kind of a no-brainer. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. All right, I'm going to take this group. I'm going to remember that restaurant even bigger, and I'm going to override this. Now, I'm potentially losing two points at the end of the game, but hey, I'm going to more than make up for that because remember, if I get the right color on all of these, that's six points. If I only get them on one, that's negative one point. So uh, I'll lose a point to hopefully get more points off of that. And now, am I going to lock this in? I've got a size five restaurant, but there's still room. I could still squeeze it up there. This is super dangerous, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and get the biggest restaurant possible and fill this whole area in. All right, so that was it for me. What do I leave for Jen? Jen says, okay, boom. Just getting this. 
means she can uh, now re re um, lock in, which means she'll get whatever she gets for this, plus three points. I, I've let her have those hotels, or those shops. I've let her have it. She's going to take it. But what is she going to do with this thing? It can go, oh, oh, she will say, hey, it's a straight line. Uh, she'll put it right there. One more blue right there, and she can get a hotel, which would really mess with my hotel, with my restaurant plans. Okay, so that's it. So Jen's got to decide. Is she going to... Um, I think she is going to do this. She just doesn't want to mess around. So that gives her no points, but it does match up here. One, two, three. So Jen just got one, two, three points. And... But more to point, three more points at the end of the game because she now has the second biggest block. Okay, so that was that. Bye bye. Next round. Oh, a vertical. Okay, what will Jen have available? It would really suck if she if she could have put another uh, um, shop right there and a restaurant down there. Oh man, if a shop restaurant comes out, she's gonna be unhappy. <gasps> but she's happy about that. Let's see what else we got. All right, and there's the shop. Oh, it was a double shop. Okay, and bippity flop. Okay, boom, boom. Jen's first. She wants to finish this park. So it's this or this. I think she'll go with this. Oh, but they have to be in a vertical. She puts this here. It can't go any place except overriding this. And this is already good. And she needs, she need. I mean, since she didn't, she needs to fill these spaces in. So if she goes like this. Then one, two, three. Oh, she can put it up here. It'll never be anything, but she won't be losing points. Yeah, so you can't put anything here anyway. That's what she's doing. She remembers this park very vividly, which will lock in here, getting her one, two, three, four points. One, two, three, four. Okay, neck and neck. And she's still got spaces. And man, if she does not get another red to be able to finish this restaurant, she'll be very uh, pissed at herself. Okay, so she's left me these. Um, so a bunch of parks or a bunch of shops. This is interesting. I mean, now that there's shops up here, I want to. I want to do. I want to say, yeah, I remember these shops too. Because here's the deal: if I can complete these shops, I'll get the points for them here. Plus, since they match what Jen already remembered, I'll get the bonus points the same way she did. So I think that makes perfect sense. Let's go on ahead and just put those up there, and say, yeah, you're right. I totally remember those shops up there in the northeast corner of the of the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. So boom, sliding on over another diagonal. Jen has first D first dibs. Oh. Oh dear. I think I got mixed up. Folks, hold on a second. Let's see. This was me, then Jen, then me, then Jen, then me, then Jen, then me, then Jen, then me. Okay, I'm first. Okay, yeah, I just forgot to update. Folks, this is why you always, always watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on because I can get a little scatterbrained. Uh, but anyway, so I have first dibs on another shop. So, hey, I could get that shop over here and then match Jen's perfectly. I could even make it bigger. I could score more. I could say, hey, there were shops that continued down there. And uh, flippity, dippity, dippity, and skippity. Do, do, do. All right, I am first. Ooh, a double hotel, but I am, I'm stuck by that diagonal. But, okay, no, I want to, I want to, I'm, I'm, I'm running out of time. I do not want to miss my shot at finishing that restaurant and getting the big payday. It's already at five, I just need one more. So do I, um, do I take this, let's see, oh. And I gotta go diagonally in that direction. Yes, perfect, oh my gosh, look at this. I'll put this here, and then I'll go diagonally, boom, boom, oh no, it's not perfect! It's one off, it's one I thought it was gonna be over here. That's not perfect, that's that's less than perfect. Ah. Uh... I mean, I could go in and just put it down here. It'll never be, unfortunately. And if I hadn't locked this in, I could lock it in now with a size six. No! I didn't think I was going to do it. So I, I want to get that done. And I, I don't know if I necessarily want to mess with the park. So yeah, this is what we're going for. I, I This I'll never lock because it's completely surrounded by stuff that's already confirmed. But I am now going to confirm um, one, two, three, four, five, six. This super restaurant. Big restaurant. Big, big, big. All right. So that was a size six, which gets me five points. One, two, three, four, five. And now we confirm it up on the big board. And the nice thing about shops and restaurants is they're piecemeal. They don't have to perfectly match. You can get partial bonus points for where they do overlap. Um, yeah, which is basically going to be the case here because you can see, um, I, I, you know, let's see. 
One, two. Oh, yeah. I want to put one right here as well, because I'm saying it's there. But I can't, because Jen already said, oh, there was a hotel there. So, I don't get the point for this one, but I do get the points for the others. One, two, three, four, five, because those did match. So, I get five more. One, two, three, four, five. So, the shops and restaurants give you a bit more flexibility, but they're basically just not as good as scores. All right. So, that is very nice. And, wow. Amazingly, that does not stop Jen from achieving... Um, either one of these who hotels she could do up there. If she were to say, oh, I don't know, take some hotel chips. Here's the choice, though. She could go like this and get either of these hotel shapes done and get a big payday and then have a vesicle that will probably never amount to anything. Or this might be her last chance, folks. I mean, there's um, only three more rounds to get another restaurant so she can score this restaurant. I, th I think she's going to do it. She's going to risk everything. She's going to put these here like this in this diagonal. And she will say that she remembers this hotel being here. Which means she has confirmed this, this, and this. And that gets her four points for a hotel. One, two, three, four. And sets it perfectly matches. One, two, three. Right over there. Boom. <clears throat> okay. Wow. All right. And... She may regret that later if she doesn't get a chance to score this. But we move on. And, oh, okay, it's a funky one. It is a very funky one that is tougher to fill in spaces. Uh, more prone to uh, memory loss. Oh, my gosh, three shops in one depot. Yowza. Okay. That's just like, oh, but remember, you can't put them next to each other. You have to adhere to that layout. Mm. Okay, so what have we got? Jen gets first dibs. There's her chance. I mean, I think she can't push her luck anymore. She's got to take this. She's got to take this and figure out a way to make this work with this crazy thing. Like, say, she could say, hey, I remember this being there, and now she could do it. And she could say, hey, I remember this being here. And she could say, I remember this being here. But then she's overriding. She could still get purples. There's still the possibility to score these. So instead, she could say, all right, so is it. I remember this here. I remember this here. She could say, I remember this here. Way down south. We never even went there. Which means, hey, she's potentially losing point. But she doesn't care because I for I have more mismemories. Currently, I'm losing two points. She's not losing anything because it's only the person who's misremembered the most. She's going to go like that. And she is not going to push her luck any further. She's happy to get a size four restaurant. All right. And um, which just so happens to fit perfectly with the communal memory. So that got her four points plus one, that just got her five points. One, two, three, four, five. That could win her the game. Oh, and I got to mark that all of these. And she could have waited even longer. Oh, wait, no, I did mark them. I did mark them. There we go. Dur, 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 dur. Okay. Boom. All right. So nice, nice, nice. But what has she given me? What hath she wrought? All right. Well, I could start messing with some purple over here. Or, oh, I could just shop the place up and, and still be matching what Jen did and try to make a big super shop over here. And, and score some more points off of that. I am really um, pretty hot and tempted to take all of this. And, but what would I do with it? How would it work? I mean, with considering this and the river right there. Remember, this river cutting the map in half is why this is a tougher level. The on the on In Singapore, it's just like, oh, a little bit of water out of the way. Whereas this just makes it very difficult to work around. I will definitely mix some memories if I say, because I can't put this here. I could, oh, well, I could go, I could go like that, or, or, I mean, I, I've got a whole bunch of, of hotel to remember all in that area, or, you know, I could work on that purple. I have several options. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, folks, because I think I'm going to stop right there, because that should give you a basic idea of the gameplay of Remember Our Trip. And now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that I in the top right corner screen, or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.